Uh, big things are happening as our democracies align to better protect the citizens of our two countries and indeed of the free world. And it's an honor to visit this great nation. It's my third trip here as America's Secretary of State. When I was here uh, last year, I urged two countries to embark on a new age of ambition in our relationship, and I think we've absolutely done that. Fourth, the agreement for the electronic exchange of customs data. Our leaders and our citizens see with increasing clarity that the CCP is no friend to democracy, the rule of law, transparency, nor to freedom of navigation, the foundation of a free and open and prosperous Indo-Pacific. I'm glad to say that the United States and India are taking steps to strengthen our cooperation against all manner of threats, and not just those posed by the Chinese Communist Party. Two questions from the U.S. media pool. From the Indian media, the first question. Fifteen years after the conclusion of the first U.S.-India defense framework, the defense ties between our two nations remain a key pillar of our overall bilateral relationship. Based on our shared values and common interests, we stand shoulder to shoulder in support of a free and open Indo-Pacific for all, particularly in light of increasing aggression and destabilizing activities by China. Crash course Sir, with China with Taiwan and India building Sir, relations. one question, please. During our meetings these last two days, we affirmed, reaffirmed the United States' commitment to a comprehensive and forward-looking defense partnership with India and discussed opportunities to expand our regional security cooperation, military-to-military -military interactions, and defense trade relationship.